Hello, Casper. Derek Zarello with United Country Real Estate, Zarello Land and Legacy. Today, we're going to do something a little different. With me being a business owner, I wanted to highlight some local businesses in Casper. So, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm originally from Norfolk, Nebraska, which is a small town in Nebraska. Um, after high school, I moved to Lincoln. In Lincoln, uh, I met my wife, Jennifer, and from there, we started a whole new chapter. Um, about 10, 11 years ago, I got an opportunity to move to Casper and start a completely new chapter, something that uh, we were both very unfamiliar with. Um, six years ago, unfortunately, I did lose my job, and that's where I got into real estate. Um, I started with a small brokerage and eventually moved to a larger brokerage to today, uh, broker owner of United Countries Rella Land and Legacy. So being a small business owner here in Casper, you never really think about the day-to-day the -day challenges or the issues that you're gonna face. And in this series, what I wanna do is ask those same questions to other local business owners. What, what challenges or what issues or what concerns or, uh, you know, the positives. What, what are one of the things that you really love about being a small business owner here in Casper? So with that being said, let's go meet Dan the Barber at Citizen Shave. So today we're with Dan at Citizen Shave. Hey. Um, my son and I, we've been coming to Dan for what? Yeah, since 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. Yeah. yeah, just right after I got my license. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you were downtown, you had uh, just a little shop downtown off of, what was it? Uh, it was on... Uh, uh, on Walcott in the old Wyoming National Bank building. That's right, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And it was just the retail stuff. Mm-hmm, yep. I remember that because it was, I never actually met you there. It was your wife that right. was always working. Yeah. And then she had mentioned that you were gonna get your barber's license and you know, something, yeah. something like that. So, but, uh, yeah, we've, we've been coming to, uh, coming to you for quite a while, so. What, uh, what brought you to Casper in the first place? Well, I moved down to Casper oh, 20, 20 plus years ago, I suppose. And I think it was 2002 when I got here. And I'd been up, I, I grew up in Gillette. And after the service, I moved back there uh, for a while. And uh, I just decided that I wanted a change. And so I came down uh, to Casper, and I went to work for uh, the Parkway Plaza, mm, okay. and worked in the uh, in the sales office, and I handled corporate accounts. And uh, so for for quite a few years, that's what I did. And uh, I just got to a point in my life and my career that I wanted to do something different, mm -hmm. and. The first part of that was I wanted to have a, a little shave shop since I had, I used to get so frustrated when I would order all my creams and, <laughs> and stuff online and mm -hmm. it would get there and it wasn't what I thought it would be. Yep. So I decided maybe I wasn't the only one that had no. that frustration. Absolutely. So I opened, opened up Citizen Shave. Mm -hmm. And uh, then at the request of customers, uh, about uh, they wanted to know where they could get a, a straight shave. And, and there were a couple of barbers in town doing it. Right. Uh, but I was, I, I really wanted to, uh, to do the, the stuff myself. And in order to do so, I had to go to barber school. Mm -hmm. So I, I left my job and I signed up. Uh, at the Hair Academy here in town, they had opened the the barber school up. It was the first barber school in Wyoming. Oh boy! What uh, so for that type of training? Is it you know a couple of days worth of classes, or what? Uh, what does that entail? Well, it's a pay. It, at, in the beginning, it was a pace school, so you could go at your pace. Mm -hmm. And under my circumstances, I went ten hours a day, five days a week. And uh, you have to you have to have a thousand hours oh my. in order to uh, in order to go to the boards. Mm -hmm. And then once you go to the boards, you take your your written your practical. And so we did those, and then I opened up my uh, barber shop down here on uh, 
on 5th Street mm -hmm. um, because it was a little more conducive to what I wanted to do with my shop. Right. We reduced the amount of inventory and allowed the, the, the barbering to be, to be our main, uh, main source mm -hmm. to drive the business and to support it. Gotcha, gotcha. And now we're in 2023 and we're, or 2024 <laughs> and we're still going, man. That's awesome, that's awesome. I can't imagine that many hours of classes. They, uh, you know, some people complain that we, it, as real estate agents, we have so many hours, but I mean, a thousand hours is just absolutely insane. It's a, it is, and in the beginning, it feels real daunting mm -hmm. and like a big wall that you're, you're not going to get over, but you slowly hack away at it. Yeah. And uh, it's faster than it, it goes fast. Mm. Once once you get into the groove, yeah. That's sure. it. Why, yep. why do you think that they have so many hours? What's well, I, I think a lot of it is you need to spend a lot of time on the floor mm -hmm. and just learning how to not only communicate with clientele, but 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 I mean just the, the becoming comfortable with working on somebody. Yeah. Uh, and and just learning how uh, how to to do your your craft or your trade mm -hmm. and be able to uh, to provide a, a a necessary service for people. Yeah. Yeah. So just going back real quick, you said you were in the military. What branch were you? I was in the Navy. That's awesome. Um, That's cool. Stationed in San Diego mm -hmm. on board an aircraft carrier. That's fantastic. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. We greatly appreciate that. Yeah, man. What, uh, so I, I talked just briefly about how being a new business owner and entrepreneur here in Casper is, you know, it, it can be challenging. What are some of the challenges or issues or, you know, what are some of the positives that you see as a business owner here in Casper? Well, the, the community is, is, is a welcoming community. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I love the clientele that I have. Uh, they're, uh, they're good to me. Mm -hmm. uh, they, you know, they buy my, the products that I offer. Uh, they come for the services that I have. And, uh, I just want to make it an, an, an enjoyable time. Yeah. Usually have the TV going with something goofy on. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but being a business owner in ca uh, for me in the beginning, I was I was terrified. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know if it was going to be enough, mm -hmm. and but it, but it was. Uh, we were able to uh, work with different uh, other small businesses, uh, a small magazine. Uh, uh, worked with the uh, with the Star uh, when we first opened. They gave us a, a nice interview. Uh, came down and did a nice, uh, a, a cool uh, story about us, and so it put our name out there. Mm -hmm. And being downtown, we really were able to capture that that true walk-in traffic. Yeah. And then before we opened the the barber shop, before we uh, came over here, we were able to. My wife was able to tell all, all of our customers that a barber shop was coming soon, mm -hmm. and that we were going to be offering, you know, a full service barber shop. They could come down and get a shave or a beard trim or a haircut. Mm -hmm. uh, but it gave us an advantage over uh, somebody just starting up. I think because we had word of mouth out there already before we even got going. Yeah, and. Uh, I think as a business owner, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes Absolutely. To, to make your business successful. And uh, I think a lot of it is is attitude and and your relationship with others. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, that's that's what what drives my business is is relationship with others. Yep. yep. Uh, and I love what I do. So that's great. Definitely takes a lot of motivation and a lot of uh, drive to uh, 
to be a successful business owner. And I think, you know, sometimes people fail to understand that. It, you know, there's, there's a lot of challenges that entrepreneurs face on not only a monthly or a weekly basis, but also a daily basis. So, Absolutely. You know, the, the word of mouth traffic is fantastic. Um, you know, that's, that's one thing that uh, small business owners really need to focus on is you know, getting the word out there and you know, letting people know that, that you're here and, and you're willing to take on more clientele and, and uh, you know, provide those types of services that aren't necessarily available to, um, to some people or, you know. 100%. I think having a, uh, you know, in today's uh, social media, it's important to, to have a presence in something. Even if you don't do a lot with it, mm -hmm. just having that and, you know, especially in the beginning, just a, a let, letting people know what you have available yeah. um, because things can, you know, things can, can be different from one day to the next. Absolutely. Uh, and so having a, a, a media site or a web page or something, mm -hmm. uh, because people love to get on and, uh, and, and either book their things online yep. or research online. And so having that presence there uh, and, and, and keeping it, you know, fairly current is, is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And even so, if you get discouraged, you've just got to keep pushing through. Absolutely. If uh, I'm assuming that you're probably still taking clientele. Absolutely, if, all the time. If somebody sees this, how would they go about making an appointment? Do they call you or like you said, do they go on social media? They what, can, what's the best way to, to get a hold of you? So the best way is to go to freshed.com mm -hmm. and my uh, my appointment book is online. Okay. And so folks can make their uh, appointments uh, without a credit card and uh, uh, set up their appointment. I've got all of my services listed mm -hmm. and all the pertinent information. Um, and the, the other way is just to pick up the phone and call. Oh, there you go. Yeah. What's, what's a good number to call? It's 333. Uh, three, three. Six six nine six. That's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't miss that. One. Absolutely. So, that's. Uh, I mean, normally when I schedule the appointments, we just go on your Facebook page and you know click schedule, and and that takes you right to the the fresher page that you were talking about. Right. We select it and uh, pick our times and, and go from there. So, it makes it really really convenient. It does. When, we, uh, when, when you're uh, on the run on a regular basis. That's it. Who's got control media, of that thing? <laughs> in that last segment, we met Dan the Barber at uh, Citizen Shave. And if you guys are interested, if you if you need a haircut, a shave, or if you just want to check out the place, uh, schedule an appointment, go to his Facebook page and get that appointment scheduled because he is not accepting any walk-ins. He's busy. So right now we are on location at one of our listings, 25 and Mercy Lane. Uh, the property behind me is roughly about 55 acres and it's already been subdivided into 199 lots. So you could essentially come out here, put in some roads and start building. Um, the, uh, the zoning, the majority of the lots are zoned R2, which allows for single family residents. Um, the rest of the lots are zoned R3 and similar to R2, you could do a single family dwelling or you could also do multifamily, condos, or even townhomes. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Uh, we also have, you can see the power lines behind me, so there is power, but I would recommend you call Rocky Mountain Power just to verify. Uh, utilities, you have water, sewer, and we actually have gas on the north end of the property, which then would have to be ran through. Keep the, you, keep the 199 uh, lots as they are, or vacate that and create your own uh, subdivision, however you see fit. Uh, so the possibilities on this property are absolutely endless. Uh, for more information on this, see our website, zarellolandandlegacy.com, or give me a call, 307-337-9282. I hope you've enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the next episode.